As the weather warms up, melting the snowpack in the mountains surrounding central Washington, the rivers run fast, cold, and dirty. During spring runoff, sand, silt, dirt, rocks, trees, and other debris are washed downstream from higher elevations. As the fast-moving Methow River meets the slower-running Columbia River, those sediments are dropped at the confluence of the two rivers, causing a buildup, or delta, which is detrimental to recreation and navigation. When certain conditions align in the spring, Douglas PUD uses the runoff to scour the river of deposited debris out into the Columbia River, where it's dispersed to a larger, deeper location. Hi, I'm Megan Vibbert, Public Information Officer for Douglas PUD. To effectively use the high runoff flows, Douglas PUD installed four groins, or rock jetties, along the south shore of the Methow River near Pateras. Built in the late 1980s, this groin system has proved successful over the years. Douglas PUD rebuilt each of the groins in 2015 to extend their useful life. During normal conditions, the groins are underwater, not visible, and not impacting the river. However, by lowering the Wells Reservoir in the Columbia River about 8 feet to around 772 feet above sea level, the groins divert the fast-moving runoff to scour out the accumulated sediment. In order to achieve successful erosion of buildup, there needs to be sustained high flows over several days. We understand this low reservoir event can be inconvenient to Wells Reservoir users. Some trails and shorelines close, and Douglas PUD staff and other agencies use these opportunities to do environmental studies. We appreciate your patience whenever we work to improve the recreation and navigation of our important waterways.